Damn. Yo, yo, YC the Cynic. We at Brown Bag Thursday in the NYC, and you are at LiveMusic.com. Peace. So, you've been making a lot of buzz here around the city, and I've been reading like a lot of the reviews and things like that. Apparently, you're a Brown Bag affiliate. What, um, what's the affiliation with Brown Bag? The affiliation is real, real organic. Like they, they're real cool people, and they've been looking out. So, whatever I could do, however I can help, I do. How'd but, you guys hook up? Here, <laughs> Brown Bag Thursday. I, I rock Brown Bag Thursday. Like, I believe it was in November. I'm, I'm not sure, but um, they took a liking, and then we just built. We built. Fair enough. So how long you been MCing? I've been MCing for about 10 years. Oh, right. Maybe, 10 years. I'm real young now, so I've been MCing for a really long time, over half my life. How old are you now? I'm 19. Wow, bro. Wow. So where are you from? I'm from the Bronx. So you're repping B BX? Yes. The only person in Manhattan ever repping BX. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. So you did uh, you did the, the Best Buy uh, Best Buy gig today. Well, how did that come about, and, and what's going on there? Um, I knew I knew Rob from live at Best Buy, but we we weren't we didn't have a real good relationship. Like I, I didn't know him very well. So um, a homie of mine that they booked named Chris. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Kahia, I think. Mm -hmm. um, he's a poet for El Plito, Poet Squad. He uh, he had a show with his team member from Dr. Loco, and they asked me to you know do a do a quick little like ten minute set. It was real. It was cool. Nice man. Yeah. Nice. So uh, the latest project you got out is You're Welcome, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I got I just got a quick question about the cover. That was that was that was like yeah. That was a real moment, right? Yeah. Like on the street, you handled. No, the actually, it was a photo shoot. And this okay. is my homie John Mega from GTP. <laughs> okay. And he agreed. He agreed to do it. He actually, I don't know if he wants me to tell him, tell anybody this, but he played, he played a homeless man in the Flacco show with Flacco Navarra, and um, so he he gets a lot of homeless man gigs. So <laughs> he's real cool, dope MC, and uh, yeah, it was fun. Nice man. Nice. Shout out to Joanne Gomez who did the picture. Yo, I gotta say, dude, for like 19 years old, you know, you seem to have like a lot to say. I feel, I feel like, and, I, and this is what a lot of other people that you know that check my site and that do pay attention to hip hop say is like, um, there's a lot of cats that like, especially now there's so many MCs, you know everybody's just trying to like rhyme shit. It seems like everybody's just trying to make something rhyme over a hot beat. But you actually have something, you know. I think that you're saying, you know, you're, you're in, in our, in my eyes, and a lot of other people's eyes, like, you know, you're you're along the same lines as like somebody like Homeboy Sandman, you know what I mean? Who isn't just making rhymes, but he's. He's actually saying something. He's actually putting something out there for people to like attach to and believe in. Um, if there was like a message, man, like, what's your kind of message? What's your message? I don't. I don't really have like a specific message, but I, I really try, like, I really try to be the best person I can be, and I encourage everybody to do the same. So, like, any, like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do a song telling somebody to do something negative. Yeah. Or like expressing that kind of values because that's not me and I wouldn't want anybody to do that So I guess if there's any message it would just be like be the best person to possibly be And you use a lot of humor. Yeah. I mean tell me I mean Is that something that's pretty common in your life too? I mean you're pretty funny yeah. dude. You know I like to laugh. Everybody likes to laugh. I like yeah. to make people laugh Yeah, so I, I try to put humor in every first anytime, yeah. anytime that it's applied so I got uh, a couple more questions. But there was a, something I read that said so, maybe it was your bio. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about right now. I don't know. Anything. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Just kidding. I know nothing. <laughs> because, uh, there was this, this thing I read that um, said something along the lines like you. Maybe it was a quote from you. You said you're trying to like bring back or trying to like give back to the community that raised you. Yeah. Are you referring to the hip hop community? I'm talking. I'm, I'm referring to the Bronx. Okay. The hip hop community. At the same time, I wanna, I wanna, like, I want the quality to be better than hip hop. But the Bronx is like in dire need of help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the poorest congressional district in the U.S. So, me being part of the Rebel Diaz Arts Collective, and I'm like, and seeing it firsthand, living in the Bronx all my life, uh, I just like through music any way I can help, like anybody from the Bronx or just like the Bronx in general. I will. And I've been I've been working at it. Explain uh, maybe for people that aren't familiar with with the, the Diaz Art Collective. Yeah. Uh, restate the name and maybe tell us a little bit about that. The Rebel Diaz <laughs> Arts. <laughs> you gotta love J57. The Rebel Diaz Arts Collective is um, I wouldn't call it a nonprofit, but it's it's um, 
organization that that we just built ourselves. We have a we're located in on 149th Street, 478 Austin Place. And we hold events. We hold we we're, we're like we're like the place where people that don't know how to how to like um, gather mm -hmm. or people don't that don't know how to be strong. People that need a safe space that just like anything, any way we can help, we will. And um, we've just been doing that. We, we've only been doing it for about a year. And we keep we keep getting better. We're trying to add stuff to add stuff to you know our repertoire and get new programs for children and all of that. But um, we're we're real we're working at it consistently. Like it doesn't stop. We're doing it all day. Go, man. Yo, this is why I see the cynic. You should go get yo, my yo. Yo, why I see the cynic? So yo, he's the man. Yo, so he's the man. Yo, so he's the man. Yo, so he's the man. <laughs> yo, you heard that. Yo, you can get your welcome at ycthecynic.bandcamp.com. Tell me what you think about it. ycthecynic at gmail.com. Peace.